this is my rocket spare. It's a piece of uh, stainless steel tube. It's got a lawnmower blade in the end of it, sharpened up. This is just a tie valve. It goes in the end like that, gets pumped up with a bike pump or something like that. And you fire it, it flies out the end, all the air rushes out, and it shoots off. So this is the launcher. This goes inside there, got a little hole in the end. And this part here holds it in there, holds the spare in. Trigger presses against it. And then when you pull the trigger, it flies open and away it goes. So that's basically how it works, but you can keep watching if you want to see more about how I made it. And um, this is how I designed it. Yeah, uh, epic sketch here of uh, how it all works. This is a stainless steel pipe I used, a piece of 25mm tube, flatten the end out with a hammer and uh, cut a piece of a lawnmower blade out with a grinder, stick it in the end there and then I just welded that off. I used the uh, gasless MIG, just have to make sure you get no holes in it otherwise the air just leaks out everywhere. I actually got it first try which was a surprise. And I also filled up a little hole that was left in that blade that was off the lawnmower. And then I just ground it all to a nice shape afterwards with the grinder. This is the tool I had to make up to uh, take the seam out of the galve pipe. It's a piece of rod with a slot on it. And I just feed that piece of sandpaper in there. So I can spin around and smooth that uh, seam of the pipe out a little bit. Shows me here using it. it. Took a little while, but it was enough to make the pipe slide inside nicely. Then I found this washer, welded it on the back of it to uh, stop the plug flying out the end. I had to also drill the hole out in the middle to 10 millimeter to accept the uh, valve stem. This is a plug I got from the hardware store, so you just pull off that piece, of that uh, metal piece. You push out that piece of plastic with your fingers and I just got a uh, valve like out of a car rim and just pushed it in there. It's a pretty tight fit which is good though because it doesn't leak. So the, the plug said it's for a 25mm hole but it's uh, 25 at the bottom so I spun it down a little bit, used the file and my drill press to um, make the taper a bit more flat so it would fit deeper in there. Then I just made a whole lot of little brackets and everything up for this trigger. I didn't really film myself making this because I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. And here's me putting it in back to front. Oh, that way around, that's how it goes. Yeah. So that bolt there you can use to tighten the um, other piece against the spear to hold it in really tight. And it also adjusts where the trigger sits. You see how that works there. put uh, two washers on there to make sure it was wide enough to um, catch that fork. So there's a piece of uh, stainless I welded around there to uh, so the arrow's got the spear's got something to rest against. Then I just put the plug in the end, feed the arrow in so the valve stem goes through the hole and then that can just stay in there. Once the arrow fires off it, it just stays in there. And then when you want to lo load it up you just slide it in, it slides over the plug in the back, hook up the trigger mechanism and then you can just pump this up as much as you want. The bike pump only goes to 160 psi but I tried this shot on um, 80 psi just to see what would happen. And it was kind of weak, made a little hole in the barrel but nothing much. So I tried it at 100 psi and it seemed like it was heaps more powerful and it made a bigger hole oh and then I thought I'll try it at uh, 120 psi but I tried it into the ply because I was a bit worried about it missing and flying off somewhere so it went through two sheets of 16 mil ply and that's about it for this video next time I'll be uh, take it up to my parents farm and try fire it out there and see how far it goes so stay tuned thanks for watching bye